2009 Saturn View XR front wheel drive. Um, it has a 6T75 transmission in there. The customer's complaint was that um, it was delaying when they put it in drive. It would delay too long to go into drive and also it would delay in reverse and sometimes it would have some shifting issues. Okay, once again 2009 GM Saturn view. So after taking a scan of the vehicle we saw P052 shift solenoid one valve performance stuck uh, P0877 transmission fluid pressure switch four circuit low voltage and P0989 transmission fluid pressure switch five circuit low voltage so what I did is take the computer loose and what you would see here is that it is missing the pressure switch actually it's missing that yellow puck that goes down in here to press against here so it's missing the that puck and the diaphragm okay all of that was gone okay and this is the one right here so you have one here right here right here and here also in some of these other switches these were damaged too uh, they were brittle and ready to come out. They weren't too good also. Let's see this one here. This one was ready. See it's broken right this. See it's broken right there. So these things they break in this uh, in this type of transmission. Um, there is a kit that Sonics make to be able to repair these and once you repair it you can put the computer back in you will have to do a quick learn I had to do a quick learn on this because it still had to delay until I did the quick learn when I did the quick learn everything was fine and it shifted fine so for those codes that you saw um, the problem with uh, the problem that caused that delay and the shifting issues were the pressure switches going bad. You can fix this by simply changing the TCM, but if you do that, which is this thing right here, which have all the shift solenoids and stuff on there, you will probably you'll pay probably eight nine hundred dollars or or so for a new one. Then you got to get it reprogrammed. Okay if you, you, that's the only problem you're having then the only thing you have to do is replace those switches you will get um, the rubber parts that goes around here you're, and you'll get these right here but now if the puck is missing like this one they don't sell those so if that's missing you have to either find it if you don't find it, you're going to have to get that from another compu uh, computer, an old computer. Take it out and put it in. Okay? Now, what puck am I talking about? I'll show you. Let me see if I can. I'm going to take this out here and I'll let you know. Okay? I took this rubber off. There you go. All right, got it out. Now here's the part. If you can see right in here, right there, and you see here this yellow piece. I don't care what you do. Sometimes you can't get these things out. 
Maybe I get some grease. Hold on. Let me see here. There it goes. That yellow piece right there. See? It was missing right here. You have to make sure you have that in there. If it is missing, then you, you can't just go put the diaphragm on there. You have to find one of these somewhere. Again, you're out of luck if you don't have another computer or if someone is not doesn't have it or isn't selling this. Because either you try to make something up, I don't know. You know but you're going to need that. That's important. That's important. Okay, so again, pressure switches. You can take the pressure switch kit, fix it, but again, make sure you have that piece there.